I guess, I guess as an old guy now, you know, I'm looking at this and what are we really trying to teach kids? I'm pretty sure it's the largest. Uh, the project uh, was, uh, we called Project Independence and our idea was to, you know, see if we could make our school more independent uh, from the energy grid. Our, our plan was to put up a 10 kilowatt system, which is a photovoltaic system, which takes the energy of sunlight and turns it into electricity. Uh, we got a call from the installer saying, hey, I can save you 5,000 bucks if I get panels from China. And we said, no, we wanted this to be made in America so that these could be installed by American workers. And uh, they're gonna save us over the 40 years uh, about $316,000. I just think you have to look at the bigger picture. Like, this solar panel project could probably teach far more, and it has taught me far more than a textbook ever could teach me. In the future, if I do find something that I have like such a passion for and such a drive to have people know about something, then I can like do something like this. There's a lot of different ways you can use this as far as uh, curriculum goes, even, even whether it's in history or, or, or talking about morality and ethics. It's kind of nice to be able to say, uh, look out the window, there's what's going on in our school. Look at the graph online and you can see how much energy we produced yesterday. You know, you, you see a lot of schools and they put up a couple panels and, and that's great. But my whole deal was if a bunch of kids in Lindstrom, Minnesota can do this, why can't we do this all over the place? If everybody did this, if every school did this, it's, it's, it becomes a big number and it puts people back to work doing wonderful things for the environment, for schools. Uh, financially, it just makes, makes way too much sense.